Well, hello guys, back on the bike today. And uh, apologies if in the last video my GoPro was a bit out of line. That definitely bugged me when I got back. So hopefully it's all in line. And yeah, it doesn't seem to cope too well with sunlight. So I'll try to get out again today because it's nice and sunny, but it may not look too great. So yeah, down by the river now. It's very nice down here. Really nice today, even though I keep going on about it, but the wind is bitter, very bitter. Lovely part of the city, this. And I'm actually gonna to attempt to get up this huge hill. I'm gonna actually get a run up because it's very, uh, it's very long and uh, quite steep. So we'll spin it around, get a bit of a run up and see if we can make it to the top. I might have to pedal. Let's find out how we get on. Got to say, not too bad. Not too bad at all. This is going to be interesting getting out of this junction though, with no power. Don't worry. Very miserable line of cars, that one. No one was willing to let me out. So yeah, I'm inside the sort of centre of the city right now. It's a lot busier on these roads. Thought it'd be quite good for the confidence riding anyway, to be in a bit more traffic. Yeah, we'll see where the journey takes us today. Okay, changing my mind for this bit because it's hella busy. So let's go round here and down here. Just undoing all that good work I did with getting up the hill actually. But um, there's some interesting other suburbs on this other side of the river, so I'll take you over there and can have a look around it. And more people are noticing me today, which is good and giving me right of way, that's always nice. I get nervous when people are pulling out of junctions. But so far, so good. I'm definitely starting to feel a lot more comfortable on the bike the last few days, but uh, I've got a whole world of traffic to deal with here. Jesus. Hey, that's a good thing about being a bike. Getting stopped on hills is not the best though, I will say that. And it's struggling a bit here as well. And yeah, we're right in the depths of school run by the looks of things, so it's pretty chaotic all around here. But it's good fun. Always good fun on this bike, nice and relaxed. Get to enjoy the weather. And like I said, I just kind of try and explore some of the roads that I don't usually drive around when I'm in my car or cycling or whatever. And I think I came for a run here the other day, so I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to get confused whether I've taken you around here before, but I don't think I have. This is a very, very quiet, sleepy side of the city that we've got to now. Loads of houses, but it always feels like a bit of a ghost town coming around here. You never really see too many people. There's never any traffic, just loads of parked up cars, as you can see. And probably a pretty nice place to live, all things considered, but you gotta pay for that kind of privilege. And I will actually take you down to the left here because this is kind of, uh, well, there's two areas in my city which are kind of like millionaires row. This is one of them and some of the houses are absolutely insane. There's another part as well, which is quite far from here. I'll maybe go to that another time, but yeah, some of the houses along here, I mean, hopefully you can already see here, it just kind of opens out and there's these absolutely humongous houses. And hopefully you can see from my uh, chest strap, I'll try and turn so you guys can see. Look at these houses, man. They are absolutely mental. You know, you're talking millions of pounds for these 
really, really nice properties and they actually look out onto the river as well. Look at these. Wow. So yeah, that is uh, Millionaire's Row in this city basically and it's absolutely lovely. And even these ones back here, I mean, there we go. Hopefully you can see the sun's directly on the lens. But yeah, lots of nice properties around here. Really, really nice part of the world to live. And I'm feeling pretty leisurely today. I'm in a leisurely kind of mood. Just kind of enjoying the sights and sounds. I've been stuck at my computer for the last couple of days working away so it's just been nice to get out and uh, get away from it really in my next video i will actually do um, a speed test so i downloaded an app on my phone called speedometer and i tried it in my basket it worked absolutely flawlessly i managed to get the bike up to 31 so i thought it, i thought it kind of top out at 28 but i got it to 31 and it definitely still had something to give. So I'm really, really keen to get um, a mount for that. I'm gonna get a mount for my handlebars and then we can go for a thrash and I can see how fast I can get this, this absolute beauty to go. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely got a bit more oomph than I thought, that's for sure. So I'm excited to see how fast it can go. But yeah, not feeling like too throttle happy today, just feeling pretty chilled, but um, you can probably hear this problem that I mentioned in my last vlog about the throttle. I'm not touching the throttle and look, we're just getting taken along like this. <laughs> so there's definitely some adjustments that need to be made here. I'm wondering whether the cable might have got stretched at some point. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it needs adjusting because I don't want to be accelerating when I'm not touching the throttle. Yeah, around here, there's kind of a lot of... Uh old council houses that have been bought over the years or sold off and uh, done up nicely with a bit of money spent on them. There's quite a few of those around this area, but they're all privately owned now. I mean, there's not many council houses around these days, I don't think, are there? But yeah, it's just very nice cruising around here, I have to admit. But um, what I'll do is loop back around onto that kind of busy main road we're on and then start heading towards home again. Pedaling is very handy off the line now that I've realised you can pedal. It gives you that little kick, makes a big difference. Long way we've got here. Actually did all right off that hill. I thought it might struggle a little bit, but, but yeah, did all right. Ah, back to Highland, nice and safe. Lots of chaotic traffic to attend to today, which has uh, been a bit of a challenge, but quite fun actually. Definitely improved my confidence riding around town like this. First time I've done some uh, sort of weaving as well, like going around the outside of cars and stuff. So yeah, feeling a lot more confident on the bike now. Probably not gonna try and go around this bus though. A lot of waiting around today. Stopping and starting, probably not good for an air-cooled engine. I just realized I could head around here and head to that same shortcut that I did in the last video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
So there we go guys, traffic chaos today in my video really, but uh, really glad to sort of get involved in some inner city action and uh, we're sort of finishing off on the same place as last time. Thanks again for watching and uh, yeah, that's another vlog done. I think that was number six now, so number seven will be coming thick and fast and uh, I'll see you all on that one hopefully. Thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you all soon guys. Beautiful. And so damn quiet.